Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube, and as we are checking out the new Drive NXT from PSE for 2021. This is one of the few bows that PSE has released for 2021, and it is a mid-range bow that they've come up with, kind of replacing that Drive and Drive XL that they had last year. It's very similar, but a few tweaks and changes. Uh, just taking a look at the specs on this bow, the speed on it's 322 to 330, and that's the range that PSE's given it so that Mid to upper 320s is where you're going to see it at. The axle to axle on this bow is 33 inches, so it's a little longer than what you've seen in some of the other mid-range bows, but that's going to give it a little more accuracy, probably a little better feel as well, and just take some of that torquiness out of it uh, and just make a really good shooting bow that's going to be forgiving. Now the weight on this bow, factory spec weight is coming in at 4.3 pounds, and we threw it on the scale like we like to, and we got 4.6, so... A little bit heavier than what they're advertising. We did take the dampeners out of the limbs and that got us back down to 4.4, really close to what factory spec was. So that's probably where most of the weight's coming in at as far as a difference. Now they did go to that new ZF cam with an 80% let off. And that ZF cam has got plenty of draw length adjustment if you're wanting to put this on some short draw archers or even some long draw because it's going to go all the way from 24 on the bottom end up to 31 inches on the top end, which you don't see a lot of bows go past 30 usually. So that extra inch is going to fit a few more folks if you're one of those bigger guys out there looking for a little extra draw length and not really wanting to spend a ton of money to get into a long draw high end bow. You're going to be able to pick this up and get all the way out to 31 inches. Brace height on that bow is 7 inches, uh, which again, fairly high brace height, going to make it forgiving, not really torque sensitive, and a really good shooting bow overall. All right, so with those cams, they are similar to the Evolve cam, but not an Evolve cam. That ZF cam is going to have a rotating module, and it is an all-encompassing one-piece rotating module. It's not going to have an extra draw stop peg on it. You're going to be able to take that move it to all those draw lengths with just a simple Torx head, which PSE loves to use those Torx heads, and we don't mind them because they don't strip out near as easy as an Allen head. And so it's going to allow you to rotate that module, get all those draw lengths specifically where you want them every half inch, and not have to move that extra draw stop peg. It does come available in 60 or 70 pound max, so you've got that option there on the top end. You're not really going to be able to use this for some younger archers, even though it does have 10 turns on those limb bolts. So you are gonna be able to crank it down. We don't really like to crank bows down real far, uh, but with 10 turns, you're gonna be able to get probably a good solid 20 pounds of adjustment out of this bow. So if you got, if you buy the 60 pound version, you're probably gonna be able to get that bow somewhere towards that 40 pound range. Uh, if you do need some lighter weights for some folks to build back up with. It is available in both uh, a bow only option as well as a package option. So you got both options there if you want to buy this bow, trick it out with whatever accessories you want specifically, or you can buy that RTS package from PSE with what they have on there. And that package does include some pretty nice accessories, really. Um, it's going to have their Raven Quiver on there. It's going to have their Phantom Drop Away Rest on it, a 6-inch stabilizer. Uh, it's got a Microdrive 5-pin sight on it, as well as their Neoprene Sling. So some really nice options in there. The bow is going to come into you at $6.99 and then the package option at $7.99. So not a real bad price point there if you're wanting to get into a mid-range bow. A few of the other features on this bow, uh, they are offering it in just a limited number of colors. It's going to come in at Mossy Oak Country, which is what we have here, and that's a pretty standard camo on all the PSE models. It's also available in QU Verde if you want something that looks a little higher end and a nicer looking camo. And as always, you can get it in black, uh, and black is always a nice neutral color that's going to work with any situation. From there, a few of the uh, features that the bow does include, they did include the double stabilizer hole on this bow, top and bottom. So you're going to be able to adjust that weight balance on this bow. And we did notice uh, just from the length of it, you, know, you put it in your hand, it's a little top heavy. It's going to have just a little top heaviness to it, so you're going to want to counterbalance that out with a little bit of weight. They did also include those new yoke adjustments. Um, it's basically a polymer material in there, splitting those yokes coming off the cam, and it's going to have a rest hole 
tie-in that if you're doing a limb driven rest of some type or you want to run a cable driven all the way down there uh, you're going to be able to tie that directly into the whole top or bottom on those split yoke settings it does come with a rubber grip from the factory uh, i assume you probably can remove that it's just a couple allen screws to give you a thinner grip feel if you do want to do that uh, but that rubber grip gives a nice fullness in the hand uh, but probably not going to cause too much trouble uh, it's also got your double sight holes mounting on there so if you need to move that sight adjustment up or down if you're just running out of adjustment one direction or the other you're going to have that option to move that sight up or down on the riser now because this is a mid-range bow they did use the polymer pockets on it not something that's a, a major deal breaker or anything but they do use a little cheaper components to get the prices down on these mid-range bows so with all that we're going to take this bow take it outside shoot it over the chronograph see what kind of numbers it posts up and how it feels in the hand We've stepped outside and we're going to take a shot out of this new Drive NXT from PSE for 2021 and just kind of get a feel for the bow and just what it sounds like and all that good stuff. And as usual, we're going to shoot this bow with a 400 grain arrow and we're shooting this one at 70 pounds and 29 inch draw. It does have, I believe, 80% let off on this bow. So we'll just kind of see what kind of numbers this thing posts up. So 286 over the chronograph, right there in the mid 280s, probably where you would expect it to be for this setup. Overall, good feeling bow. This is a mid-range bow from PSE. Overall, just a great feeling bow. If you're not wanting to spend a ton of money and wanting to get into one of these new drive NXTs, I, I think you've got an option here. Uh, it's a very stable bow, very little hand shock for what it is. Uh, nice rubber grip, so a good feel in the hand. Uh, just overall a good feeling bow uh, it was a little harder on the pull it's obviously not an evolve cam it doesn't have that high let off uh, it's not quite as smooth as the evolve cam uh, but overall still a very smooth cam just not uh, not quite as smooth as the evolve but overall just a great feeling bow here and, and for a mid-range bow if you're not want to spend a lot of money uh, take a look at the new drive nxt from PSE. Yeah.